Welcome to Kingdoms, where all your nerdy dreams come true. This is the fifth episode of Season 3 of the Diamond Commander League. We play high power EDH with a few restrictions to keep it interesting. The only banned card in our league is Thassa's Oracle. For episodes 4, 5, and 6, the restrictions are to play a commander from the Time Spiral Remastered set, have at least 10 Time Spiral Remastered cards in your deck, and to exclude any enchantments from your deck. The players are not required to follow these restrictions, but it is encouraged. We are celebrating our one year anniversary as a channel, and I wanted to do something to show our appreciation, so we're doing a huge giveaway. I have tons of product that I have gathered over the years, and I want to share it with you. And so I have 25 different winners for this big, huge giveaway. You can find out more about it at kingdoms.tv slash giveaway. With that, let's check out our commanders and our decks for today's games. First off, we have Carlos playing Vornclex Monstrous Raider. When this new Vornclex was first spoiled, I was immediately creating this deck. Artifact and green in fact with some planeswalkers to back them up and pump spells for good measure. Are you sure it's Vornclex who is the monstrous one? His starting hand includes Summoner's Pact, Elvish Mystic, Finn the Fangbearer, Light Widow, Core Prowler, and Two Forests. Second, we have Jordan playing Alicia who smiles at death. Don't underestimate the power of low power. Kikijiki, Yogmoth, Revelark, all will kill you real quick if you give them just a handful of low power creatures. At least someone's smiling. His starting can includes Gamble, Anafenza Kintree Spirit, Diabolic Intent, Graceful Restoration, Fabled Passage, Verdant Catacombs, and a Snow-Covered Swamp. Third, we have Spencer playing Alela Artful Provocateur. In many Alela decks, you will choose either Artifact or Enchantment. But why not just take the best of both? Stacks pieces, protection spells, flying tokens, all are there to protect until the combos can go off. Watch what they do, not what they say. His starting hand includes Blind Obedience, Demir Signet, Talisman of Hierarchy, Dire Undercurrents, Bajuka Bog, Command Tower, and Watery Grave. Fourth, we have Julian playing Tassiger the Golden Fang. The last session, we had Tassiger Elves. This time, we have Tassiger Prime. A bunch of powerful creatures, a bunch of removal spells, all set you up for a bunch of combos. Oh, and a bunch of bananas, too. His starting can includes Reality Shift, Crucible of Worlds, Eldritch Evolution, Titania Protector of Argoth, Dragonlord Silumgar, and two forests. With that, let's play some magic. For turn, we will gonna play the forest elvish mystic. Draw verdant canicombs, gonna go crack it for the triome and pass. Draw, I'll play watery grave tapped and pass. Draw, I will play an undergrowth stadium on tap because I have more than two opponents. I'll pass. Draw for turn, play forest. We'll play thin the fang bearer. Tap the mystic for a boreal druid. Pass the turn. Raw. I'll cast Soul Ring. You know what? Maybe I'll just go ahead and just play my commander and just get her out on turn All two. Right. I will pass the turn. Draw a command beacon and cast Talisman of Hierarchy and pass turn. Draw for turn. Forest for turn. I'll pass. Draw. Attack with Finn. Yeah, I'll go at Julian for one one damage and two poison. Okay, I have two in fact. And then second main, play a Blight Widow. 2-4, Reach Infect, and pass turn. Draw something good here. Fabled Pathage. I'm going to gamble. I just go and get this. Spencer, which one do you want me to go with? Do uh, right hand, left card. This one? Yep. Goodbye, Graceful Restoration. I will pass the turn. Go and tap and draw. Play Bajuka Bog and exile Jordan's Graveyard. I'll play Demir Signet. And then I will use that to play Orzov Signet. Then I'll pass turn. Draw for turn. Play, did you play forced? I think. Maybe. Yes. Yeah, okay. yeah. Cast a talisman of my own. Probably have to pass here. Yep. Draw. I will send Finn at Julian and Blight Widow at Jordan. All right. That's... No blocks on Blight Widow. I'm up to four, in fact. I'm at two. Play Evolution Sage. And I'll pass turn. Draw. I'll play it solemn and go look for a planes and pass the turn. I'll draw. I can play my commander. I'll play ornithopter 
So Ooh. we get a fairy. He's not worthless in this with the uh, Layla. It's a 1-2. That'll pass the turn. Draw for turn. I am actually going to follow suit. Solemn nice. for a basic island. And then I will pass the turn. Draw for turn. Woohoo! Let's proliferate those poisons. Yeah, we'll send both of these at Spencer. And I'll block Finn with this one. Take two infect. Second main, Core Prowler. This one is a 2-2 infect, and when he dies, I can proliferate. Oh, uh, gross. And I'm done. Rah. Cast Diabolical Intent on my Solemn Similar. Get that creature in there, and then I'd like to go search for something if I may. I'll go get a card, put it into my hand. I'm going to play Murderous Redcap and shoot down your proliferator. It's a 3 2, right? Yep. The evolution stage? Yeah. There. All right, guys, I did my part. <laughs> uh, and that'll be my turn. Draw. I will cast Blind Obedience. Then I'm going to attack Carlos for two. Commander yeah. damage. Boom, boom. And I gain two. Yeah, gain that life. <sighs> then I'll pass. Draw for turn, play a messy rainforest. I will sack it. I'm just gonna grab a yeah, yeah, yeah you know what? I'm I'm worried about infect, not damage for right now. Play a mana crypt, play Titania, reanimate this messy rainforest, pass the turn. All my creatures come in tapped anyways. Oh, oh yeah, yep. Draw a card. So Spencer, all three. Alright. We got an anguish on making the spider. I lose three life. Then I will block the core prowler with the fairy it's actually a 2-1 because of Elayla so it'll die and you'll get to proliferate and it'll die as well and, uh, and I'll take fins I guess okay everyone proliferate their tokens alright I'll play a tapped lightning greaves that'll be all Raw cast selfless spirit it does come into play tapped you are correct so I should have played something else first Ugar hedge mage so I control two mountains and two also planes tapped. We're blowing up your lightning greaves, and we'll get rid of blind obedience. Go ahead. Eat a land drop. Draw a card. Oh, I don't, there I don't, we go. I don't planes. think you really need a land drop. <laughs> play dire undercurrents. So oh, whenever man. a blue creature comes to play under my control, I you may have target player draw a card. Whenever a black comes into play under my control, I may have target player discard a card. I'm going to swing at Carlos for three. Boop, boop, boop. I gain two, then I'll pass. At the end of your turn, I will go ahead and sack this messy rainforest. I'm just going to grab a basic, I think. Swap. Titania, I'll make a 5-3. Nice. Plant elemental. <laughs> Angry. <laughs> Untap, upkeep, mana crypt trigger. Odds, I lose life. Four, and draw for turn. Cast Eldritch Evolution, sacking Titania. I might grab Belladros. That's what I'm going to do. Play a Crucible of Worlds. I haven't played a land for turn, so I'm going to just play this Misty Rainforest. I really should have done that before I killed my Titania. Yeah, and I think with that, I'm set. So, my turn? Yep, on your upkeep, I'll make a 1-1 one, one Pest. End of turn, I cast Worldly Tutor. I'm going to get Genesis on top. On my upkeep, I can pay three mana and get a creature from my graveyard to my hand. <laughs> Genesis, pass. Untap and draw. I'm going to start off by getting myself a Carrion Feeder. So in response, before Carrion Feeder comes down, I'm going to reality shift the red cap. So that exiles it and I put my library. Manifest. Yeah, manifest. So it becomes a 2-2 creature. If it is a creature underneath there, you can flip it face up by paying its mana cost. I think I'm going to go to combat. If we're going to attack, trigger here, and I'd like to bring back Solemn Simulacrum also coming in and julian i think you would block that for free value so i'll have that one coming at you so i'll trade solemns i'm not okay. gonna block take three commander or i do want to get my land that i need all right i'm gonna shuffle and then i'll draw off of solemn and see if i get anything off of it i did let you guys know i got a swamp right you already drew for turn draw, drew for solemn i thought i'll just pass draw pass. play morphic pool comes in untapped i think i'm gonna swing three at jordan and no commander damage, so just three. No, I'm leaving commander to block. And I'll pass. Upkeep, I have two things. I'll make a pest. I have four of these lovely boys, and then I will roll for mana crypts. Uh, odds are damage. I take three. All right, and then I will draw for turn. A sack, misty rainforest. Grab a uh, an island. I'll lose another life. I'll play at a shieldred. I have a response. I'm going to delay 
<laughs> yeah. Chill trick. Ooh, okay. <laughs> so you'll get her, just not yet. <laughs> okay, gotcha. So uh, how, many, how many time counters? Three, t- three time counters. Crucible, I'll just play my uh, Misty Rainforest again. One, two, three, and exiling. And I'm going to play out Tasker. And that is my turn. Drop for turn. Spencer, I'll attack you for one death touch. Yeah, I'll block two, three death touch. It- Still gain two, though. I'm just going to go ahead and sack my Misty Rainforest and grab a land. Yeah, pass. I drawn one one land this game. Cast Vile and Tumor. When he ETBs, search your library for a card and put it into your graveyard, then shuffle. Karmic Guide. Go to combat. I'm going to attack with Alicia, and I will attack you, Spencer, with her. I yep. will pay the trigger to bring back Karmic Guide. And this will be coming at you, Julian. It has protection from block. When it enters the battlefield, I will get back Solemn and go look, search my library for our land. Excuse me. Let's get a swamp. I will take the two. I don't block. I took three more, Commander. I think I'm going to go ahead and just sack Solemn right now on the carrion to try to hit another land drop. Draw. It was not a land drop. I will just pass the turn. My- End of your turn, I'm going I'm gonna crack the command beacon to uh, return a Layla to my hand. Draw a card. Play a Layla. She enters the battlefield. I'll draw a card. All right, I'll have you discard a card. Angel of Invention. I will cast Chromatic Lantern. Ooh, so it'll okay. get me another fairy, and I'll get to draw another card. Guess I can only attack for three again, but that's what I'll do. All right, I will take three. Then I'll pass. Untap, upkeep it. A few things are happening. I've got Pest here, and I'm going to roll for Mana Crypt. Oh, as I take damage. That's a five. I take damage. And before my draw step, cast Worldly Tutor, everybody's favorite Razaketh. And I will put him on top. Here, Spencer. I'm, I'm going to Nature's Claim. Chromatic Lantern. Draw for turn. Draw Razaketh. Play Razaketh. Pay two life and sack a creature. Sack one of these pests, but sacking the pest will gain me a life, so I'll really only lose one. I'm going to search my library for a card, and I'm going to do that twice. I'm going to grab a Tide Spout, Simic Signet, pay the 10 life with Belladros to untap my lands, and I will then play Tide Spout, and then I will play Simic Signet for two. On cast for Simic Signet, return Mana Crypt to my hand. Since it's free, I will cast it and return Talisman of Resilience to my hand. Tap it for two mana, play the Talisman of Resilience, trigger Tide Spout, return this to my hand, and uh, I'll basically be able to net one colorless mana each time I do this. Once I have infinite colorless, I can feed it into getting infinite green and blue. Then I'm going to activate Tasker until I basically have my entire deck in my hands, besides the lands that would stay in the graveyard. I will go ahead and just Beast Within all your permanents, and whenever I cast Beast Within, it'll go to my graveyard. I will activate Tasker, and since I don't have a library, I'll just be able to constantly pull the things from my graveyard back to my hand and essentially just cast all my spells as many times as I want to. I will beast within all your stuff and then I will reality shift those tokens, have you guys manifest the top of your deck until you have no deck left and then pass the turn. Nice. It's shocking these days to see Tide Spout Tyrant without a polymorph package. It's still crazy powerful though whenever it hits the board. For game two, Carlos's starting can includes Mana Crypt, Glistener Elf, Evolution Sage, Sword of Light and Shadow, Spinebiter, and Two Forests. Julian's starting hand includes Worldly Tutor, Talisman of Resilience, Misty Rainforest, Twilight Mire, Vine Glimmer Snarl, Woodland Cemetery, and a Forest. Spencer's starting hand includes Mystic Remora, Arcane Signet, Mirror Retriever, Dire Undercurrents, Nimbus Maze, Sea of Clouds, and Sunken Hollow. Jordan's starting hand includes Gamble, Arcane Signet, Rakdos Signet, Gehenny Undying Partisan, Angel of Invention, Fabled Passage, and a Snow-Covered Swamp. Let's jump into game two. Draw a card, play a forest, play a mana crypt, tap these two for Evolution Sage. Yeah, pass turn. Draw for turn, play a Vine Glimmer Snarl, and I will reveal a forest, and I will pass the turn. Draw for turn, play a Terminal Freak Expanse, and crack it for a Swamp, and I'll pass. I will draw Snow-Covered Island into Soul Ring, into Arcane Sigma. Go ahead. Draw for turn, play a Forest. Did you roll for Mana Crypt? Do odds is damage. 14. Jordan, I'll tank you for three. That seems fair. Play Sword of Light and Shadow, and then a Glistener Elf. Pass after that. Draw for turn. Go Forest. I just drew into the Soul Ring at the Talisman. Pass the turn. Draw for turn. Play Sea of Clouds. Comes comes in untapped. I'll cast Arcane Signet, and then I'll cast Mystic Remora. I'll pass. Draw. 
Battlefield Forge. I will tap it for white, so I will take a damage. Cast Angel of Invention, and I will get two 1-1 one, one servos and pass the turn. Odds, I'll take damage. That is a 10. I will not take damage. Draw for turn. Equip Mr. Glistener Elf here. Yeah, Julian, I think. Begging you for three infects. Three infect. Yikes. Spencer will draw a card, but I'm gonna I'm gonna nature's claim the sword. I can't deal with the creature, but Alright. The draw. I will take the infect. Second main, I'll play Ink Moth Nexus and proliferate the infect. Alright. Pass All right. the turn. Before it actually goes to my turn, lose a life. Snap this. I'm gonna cast Worldly Tutor. Draw. I'm going to search for a Woodland Bellower. There it is. Woodland Bellower on top. Upkeep and draw said Woodland Bellower. Play Twilight Mire for turn. Cast a Woodland Bellower. I am going to... Oh yeah, I'll grab an Eternal Witness. Return Worldly Tutor to my hand. I will pass the turn. Draw. Play a Sunken Hollow. Comes in tapped. I'm going to pay for the Remora as well. Then play Demir Signet. Pass. Draw. Uh, Fable Passage for land for turn. Play Rakdos Signet. Do I get to draw? Uh, yes, you get to draw. Ooh. I cannot pay for it. I will play Alice Blood Mage. Enter the battlefield. I'm going to choose to draw a card and lose one life. Coming for two in the air at Julian. He's looking a little scary over there. All right, and then I'll pass. I'll go ahead and crack this and go get myself a mount. And then it's your turn, Carlos. On say take damage. Two. Don't take damage. Draw for turn. I turn this uh, ink moth into a creature. Expenser for one infect. Okay. Second main, I'll play Karn's Bastion. Proliferate <sighs> both of your tokens with yep. Evolution Sage. Two, then. Yep, I am up to three. Play Spine Biter. I can have him assign his combat damage as though it weren't blocked. And I'll pass turn. Let's see. Untap. Draw for turn. Let's is turn. the Mystic Remora considered a token or like a counter? It is. I will play my Commander Tusker. I think I'm going to swing Woodland Bellower at you, Carlos. Take six. I will pass the turn. Upkeep. I'm going to just have it die. Then I draw. Then I'll play Nimbus Maze. Well, I have an island, so I can tap it for planes. I will cast Alayla. Then I will cast Blind Obedience. Mother. <laughs> and get a fairy. Every time. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm liking it with all that infect. I'll pass turn. Draw. I'm going to gamble. Carlos, I'll let you do it this time. All right. All right, this one. All right, you hit Yeheni, Undying Partisan. I'll cast Felidar Guardian. Probably won't matter, but it is tapped. It is tapped. You are correct. And I'll just re-blink Angel, then have it come into play tapped, get two more tapped servos, and then play my commander, and I will pass the turn. Tapped. Yes, she is tapped. Upkeep. Odds I take damage. It's an eight. Holy mother. I'm just loving the luck on this one. Draw for turn. I'm at least having a debut, or at least a, a Vornclex. All right. He made it into the board, Vornclex. Your haste means nothing. <laughs> All right. So I will send... Just sack your land. I'm attacking you with spine biter, uh, Julian. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna sack my land. Uh, he, take one. He doesn't have it, but he's gonna draw this out. Yeah, search my library for an overgrown tomb tapped. I do not have. Oh! <laughs> wow! I uh, swore uh, on my life you would. He could, but... he could still block to kill it, but <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I will block to kill it, but I'll I'll block with. Passing her, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'll have the damage go through to you. Just three okay. infect, and then with four and clicks, it'll become a six infect. All right. I don't suppose you have a uh, a land in your hand, do you? Yeah, I'll play a forest for turn. And oh. Oof. Took you up to four <laughs> there, Spencer. Really All right. Beautiful. That's yeah. four, yeah. Honestly, not even mad. <laughs> you, and you got me, too, with your Misty Rainforest. So I was like, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I am done after that. Let's see what they can do. I'll cast Bite into Fossa. Get a fairy. I'm going to attack you, Carlos, for two. Yep. And I'll draw off Bite into Fossa. And second main, I'll cast Zulaport Cutthroat. Pass. Yep. Draw. I'm coming at you, Spencer, with my Commander, Alesha. And I will pay her ability and bring back Yeheni. Both of these will be coming at you. So I take five and three Commander. And then for my follow up, I'm going to play Mingara. Ooh. Pass the turn. Odds, I uh, take damage, too. Wow. This is a rigged die, just so you guys know. Draw, it's not, but draw for turn. Oh, sorry. Uh, you actually took more damage, Spencer, because of Angel. You get pl plus two more damage. Oh, yeah, that's right. One more commander, one more from just Yehenny. Play a forest. I will proliferate it. 
your thing, Spencer, for two. I'll pass turn. Draw for turn. Play Smothering Tithe. Then I'll pass the turn. Untap. And I will force you to attack this turn. Draw! Oh, I forgot my Smothering Tithe trigger. I don't think oh. the board has advanced <clears throat> far enough. Yeah, you're good. You can get a treasure unless you pay then? Yeah, you can have the treasure. I'm going to use Yohenny's ability, sack Callus, kill it, and then attack with everything, trigger Alesha. Yeah, Yohenny's indestructible, so uh, red, white, four. bring back Callus, yeah. tapped and attacking. Actually, I'll lose two life because I have used caves. So one for the land, one when it comes into play, draw a card. So I'll block the Felidar Guardian with the Layla, and then I'll block your commander with the last fairy to dodge. So we damage. have three. So all my fairies die except for Layla's still out. So you block these four, correct? Yeah. Yeah. All but Alesha will die. Okay. 14 is coming through. Okay. And then we all lose three life because you lost three creatures, Spencer. Yep. And then I gain three. Yeah. And then I gain five because the two of my creatures have lifelink. Ooh, I'm I should gain eight. two more from a, a Layla's lifelink. Yeah. I think I'm going to play the new card. Graceful Restoration. I get to return two target creatures with power two or less from the graveyard to the battlefield. Felidar God Guardian and Callus Blood Mage. So they're going to enter. I will stack it to where I will draw a card, lose one life. Felidar Guardian will blink this, the Callus Blood Mage, and it will enter in again. And everything comes into play tap because of blind obedience. So I will draw two, lose two. It's pretty good. So I will play Urgborg Tomb of Yogmoth. That's my turn. I'm completely wide open. End of turn. I'll proliferate your, your poison, Spencer. Odds, I will take damage. Ooh, I took some damage finally. One. Oh, I was going to feel like it was for real rigged if I didn't take some sometime. Draw for turn. We'll make Inkmoth Nexus a creature. Attack Jordan for two infect. So that's going to be a total of four. Then I have effects before damage, and assuming oh, no blocks effect. or anything. And I'm going to give you three life and cast Invigorate on oh, oh. Listener Elf. I'm I one. die. I'm going to die too then. Yeah. Oh my god, is this a day? Oh. <laughs> Beautiful. I've never seen Infect actually clean a board before. I don't know how to repay Spencer, though. By not killing me. Yeah, let's... <laughs> you want to give him one Yeah, turn. I'm going to give you one <laughs> one turn. Play a forest. Yeah. Yeah. And I won't pull her for eight. You haven't won yet. If you can win on this turn, I won't <laughs> pull her for eight in response. I don't know if I can. If I had one other card, we're gonna see what I can do. I'm gonna play Viscerus here. Oh, I have a treasure. Yep. Should have had more treasures. You get one for oh. me. Yeah, you got one for me. You should have had a lot from me. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I only like need two more. Three <laughs> play times. Mirror left. Retriever. I used two. Just okay. Now. Okay. I don't know if this is gonna win it, but it could. I'm gonna sack Mirror Retriever. So the viscerous here, scry one. I lose life. You gain a life. I'm just gonna cast synthetic destiny. And exile oh, these baby. <laughs> and see what I get. No. That, that <laughs> no, happens. I should have gotten the fairy. Yeah, yeah. You get stuff on your end step. Yep. I get four, so I reveal cards. There is a combo in here where if I get the right cards, I can win. But into play, salvager of ruin. To oh, awesome. No. Oh wow. <laughs> Ethereum sculptor. Oh yeah, I do get one more. It's on my end step is the problem. And Hannah. So I can't cast anything, really. Oh, nice try. <laughs> but it was close, because Ornithopter is what I needed. But yeah, I think you win. I'm gonna untap. <laughs> Roll. I'm in your untap step. I take some damage. And I draw a card. I'll proliferate. And then I die. Cards bashing for the win! Oh, that is, that is beautiful. I am actually so happy that we got to see an infect table kill. There are a number of players out there that think poison should be a lot more than 10 to kill somebody in EDH. Warnclex disagrees. If you're enjoying what we're doing here, why not uh, smash the like button, subscribe to our channel, and you can even join us over on Patreon. We have a sweet Discord and a lot of cool things coming. I think it could be worth your time. Check that out at patreon.com slash kingdomstv. Either way, I hope you enjoyed our show today and keep it nerdy.